Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is the third installment of my series, Hebrew Words Every Follower of Yeshua Should Know. I'm reading from this book right here, 52 Hebrew Words Every Christian Should Know. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that I do not identify as a Christian. I am Jewish. I do believe Yeshua, though. And so um, we're going to get into this book now. Here's the Hebrew word for today's video. Ruach, breath, ruach. It also has another meaning, though, and we'll get into that in just a minute. The Hebrew language is based on word pictures and symbols. Each word conveys emotion and experience, not just information. Words in Hebrew often have specific images connected to them, like the one in the book of Isaiah when the prophet writes that God will arrive like a raging flood tide driven by the breath of God. What an awesome image of God's power and beauty. This verse reminds me of the ocean crashing over rocks on the shore. The ocean is unstoppable and has immense power. The Hebrew word for breath in this verse is ruach, which means spirit. That's the other meaning. Ruach means spirit also. It also means wind. The idea that the Holy Spirit arrives like a rushing tide. This seems to go against the idea of the Holy Spirit descending on Yeshua like a dove when he came out of the water during his baptism. Or does it? While I had always imagined a dove gently alighting on Yeshua in the story, theologian Joan E. Taylor gives a different perspective after encountering a territorial dove on a trip to Jerusalem. I can verify that a dove coming down on someone with wings flapping is something like a very powerful rush of wind striking one's head. This picture fits with the way the Spirit landed on the disciples like a rushing wind after Yeshua's resurrection. Does it matter if the dove descended gently or forcefully? Probably not, but I like the idea of the Holy Spirit tearing open heaven and swooping down on Yeshua with purpose and power. And I like knowing that today we all have access to this determined spirit. So Ruach does mean wind, and Ruach does also mean spirit. Once again, if you would like to see that in Hebrew, that's how it's written out in Hebrew. And also something that I think is very interesting, when we look at the creation story, when God created Adam, it says that he breathed into him. The image that I get in my mind is God breathed spirit into him. He breathed life into him. It wasn't just breath like it was. He, he breathed a part of his essence, his spirit into him that came from Yah into Adam and Adam came alive. That picture, it just, it blows my mind. I love that picture. Um, so that is the Hebrew word for today in the series, Hebrew words every follower of Yeshua should know. Thank you for watching. Be blessed. Shalom, shalom. And peace out.